You probably want to have more featured snippets in Google because they show up at the very top of the rankings and they also come up in voice search. They're a great thing for your brand, but you want to know how do you find more featured snippet opportunities and get more featured snippet rankings. Hi, I'm John Lincoln with Ignite Visibility and today I'm going to teach you a simple process to find more featured snippet opportunities for your website online. Okay, so I've done this process with quite a few websites at this point, and it's actually pretty straightforward. The first thing that I like to do is take the website and then put it into SEMrush. And then inside the SEMrush, there's this nice little area on the side, the right-hand side of the screen, that's gonna show you where your featured snippets are showing up. So go ahead and click on that and then export all the URLs and all the different types of content that are creating featured snippets and analyze it and put it into buckets and try to understand what are you already doing right that is creating featured snippets inside of Google. Okay, so as a next step, what I like to do is take your top three or four competitors and really go through the same process. So drop them inside of SEMrush, click on the featured snippets tab and find out where are they getting their featured snippets. What type of uh, template is, is that content being created on? What type of thing are they doing on that page in order to create that featured snippet? And then analyze that for each of those competitors as well as your own. And, and that's going to give you a pretty good idea of some things that you can do in a general direction to create those for yourself. Okay, so as a next step, it's kind of important that you get an idea of where the quickest wins are going to be because featured snippets, they usually only show up inside of Google for pages that have rankings within the first 10 positions. And, and really, if it's position one through five, you're gonna have a much better chance of getting a featured snippet. If it's on page two, page three, you know, if it's position five or lower, you're probably not gonna get that featured snippet. So you also wanna look at your data and look at your rankings before you even start doing this and basically sort it by your keyword positions one through four because those are gonna be the ones that have the, the best opportunity to create featured snippets. So it's, and you're gonna to wanna to do that and then segment that content as well because different content types are gonna have different types of featured snippet elements inside the layout. So top ranking positions and then filter by content types. And now you've got basically a list for your own website of what are gonna be the best opportunities to try to add featured snippets inside of Google. Really featured snippets are something that arise in Google in response to a question that relate to a keyword. So there's a couple elements there, right? So you've got the keyword that you rank for. You have the question that surrounds the keyword, right? So if it's red shoes, you know, how much are red shoes? And then you've got the response. So you wanna make sure that each of those elements lines up. The keyword is ranking nice and high. You have the question that surrounds the keyword that's gonna be actionable. There's certain elements of that question I'm gonna get into in a little bit. And then the response is the correct link. And, and if that thing's ranking high and then all those things are in place, there's a pretty good chance that that's gonna get pulled out and turned into a feature snippet. Okay, so you wanna make sure that the question that you are using for the heading is an H2. Generally, we've seen that H2s get pulled out more frequently for featured snippets based off of our own data. And then when you're looking to create the questions on the page, say that you've got this page ranking for one keyword that's really high, and you know that you wanna create the most important questions around that keyword. I like to use a tool called Answer the Public. It's a pretty good one. And basically what you do is you put that keyword in there and then answer the public's gonna spit out this cloud of related uh, queries. And, and it's gonna basically give you those queries that are, that are the most important and least important that people use the most. And then based off of that, you can use that to structure kind of the FAQ type of format for the page. And that's gonna be a really important next step, making sure you're picking things that people are actually gonna be querying and asking and that relate to that term that are the most important for that term. So questions are great at earning featured snippet summary boxes, but almost all question words such as who, what, can, should, etc., perform really well. And then how and have also perform very well as far as featured snippets. And then which is another very good one. And prepositions, things like for, like, to, with, without, also earn, do very well for most lists. And then comparison words such as pricing, verse, etc., 
earn more, most tables. So that's really important to know. When it comes to a question, as far as tables, that comes up about 3.4% of the time. And lists, about 4.53% of the time, but paragraphs come up 92% of the time. So if you're looking to create a question featured snippet, you definitely want to go paragraph. For a preposition, it, tables are 4.09% of the time, lists are 29.01% of the time, so lists definitely win in that regard, and then paragraphs are 66.90% of the time they show up there. But we see a lot more growth on the list side. When it comes to comparison type of items, that basically is a table 11% of the time, and a list 6.78% of the time and a paragraph 81% of the time. Okay, so now let's talk about featured snippet lengths. Okay, so when it comes to a featured snippet paragraph, the average word count is 45 and characters 293. The maximum is 97 and 752. When it comes to lists, the average is 4.2 uh, as far as items, and then the words per item are 10.8 as far as average, and then the maximum are eight as far as items, and then 64 as far as words per item. When it comes to tables, the average as far as rows is 3.6, and columns is 2.5, and then the maximum table rows is nine, and then the uh, uh, maximum uh, columns is three. Feature snippets are becoming a bigger and bigger thing in Google, and they're very important for voice search, and they're have some impacts and, and implications for Google Home, and there's something that are really helping businesses. I think we're gonna see a lot more of it, and I think we're gonna see a lot more metrics around this as we move forward in things like Search Console, analytics. I think they're gonna have implications as far as paid media. There's probably gonna be some ads around it at some point, knowing how Google works. I hope that you enjoyed this process for creating feature snippets for your website. There's a lot more in-depth information on this um, that you can find on our website on ignitevisibility.com. And also I created another pretty in-depth video on it. It's called How to Rank Zero in Google, which I'll leave a link to inside of the description. But that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I can't wait to see you for the next Ignite Visibility University. Have an awesome day.